Once again, Steve Jobs didn't even want an iPad mini. It was somebody else's complete idea to have the iPad mini actually be a thing. And he pushed really hard, pushed on Steve Jobs, Tim Cook, and all the other people who were involved to finally get the iPad mini to where it is today. This is the history of the iPad mini. If you wanna see a video on the iPad Air and iPad Pro, let me know in the comments down below. The iPad mini was met with a ton of criticism before and after its release. and every consecutive release afterwards, it was met with a ton of criticism. Yeah, that's that sucks, but like everything Apple does, everything anyone does, honestly, is met with a ton of love and criticism at the same time. But like I said, the iPad mini was not Steve Jobs' idea. It was Eddie Q's idea. He is the senior vice president for internet software and services at Apple, or at least at the time he was. And a year after the original iPad came out, the original came out in 2010, watch my video linked right around here somewhere. In 2011, he sent a bunch of Apple bigwigs an email that says, I'm dumping the iPad because size matters. And that's the story of it right there. The iPad was doing very well, but other tablets that were popping up to compete with the iPad were all around seven inches. And those were doing really well. And Eddie Q thought Apple could have a share of that slice of market share if Apple came out with a smaller tablet. Of course, Steve Jobs was was not happy with that. He said the iPad has an advantage because it's bigger, because of its size, there's a more comfortable experience, more comfortable viewing experience. And here we are today. iPad mini came out a year later. Finally, Tim Cook, who was acting CEO at the time, agreed to start developing a 7.9 inch iPad. Now we have the iPad mini. The iPad mini one came out in 2012 with a lightning port LTE thinner than the iPad 4, which was the newest iPad out at the time, lighter than the iPad 4, and started at 329, which is the price that would become normal for the regular iPads a few years down the line. Had a 7.9 inch screen, like I mentioned, had some crappy cameras similar to what the iPad 4 cameras had, but not as good as the iPhone, which iPad got criticism for. A5 processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, and 16 to 64 gigs of storage. And I thought this was interesting. The most expensive iPad mini at that time was 659 bucks, 64 gigs of storage, LTE, cellular service, 512 gigs of RAM, started with iOS 6. So six years after the phone, six years later, we have iPad mini, the first gen. iPad mini 2 came out in 2013, had a retina display. This was actually initially called iPad mini retina display or with retina display. And that was just changed to iPad mini 2 because that sounds better. Has better LTE, two times faster Wi-Fi, but it was 7% heavier. Started at 399, got a little bit more expensive, unfortunately. 7.9 inch screen, same cameras, A7 processor. Finally, a boost to one gigabyte of RAM with 16 to 128 gigs of storage. So they added a 128 gig option for the iPad mini 2 that came out a year after the first iPad mini. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, consider liking and subscribing down below. And if this video was of any value to you, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear and that really helps the channel out so I can do more videos like this one. A year later, the iPad mini 3 came out. This was the first iPad mini to introduce Touch ID. It was the same size as the iPad mini 2, but now it had a gold color and it featured Apple Pay finally, because people, I guess, are using their iPads to use Apple pay imagine going to walmart somebody comes up with an ipad 12.9 inch to put i guess walmart doesn't have apple pay you know what i'm saying this started at 399 as well 7.9 inch screen same cameras same a7 processor one gig of ram 1628 gigs of storage the ipad mini 3 was more of a s year for the ipads but this is also around the same time that phones started getting bigger and bigger. And so tablets with that size of a screen with a seven inch screen started declining in popularity. It's because your phone is already big enough for that. I mean, 15 Pro Max is 6.7 inch screen. It's rumored to get to 6.9 inch screen. Like, yeah, goodbye to the seven inch iPads, honestly. But the iPad mini four came out a year later and this one was honestly a bigger upgrade. Finally, bigger hardware upgrades. Announced during the Hey Siri special event, 
The iPad Mini 4 came out in 2015 with better color accuracy, 56% less reflection due to an anti-reflective coating. Now supports Wi-Fi 5. It was thinner, taller, and wider than the previous iPad Minis. Supported multitasking features, finally, because it had two gigs of RAM. Start at 399, finally better cameras with an eight megapixel rear camera, an A8 processor, two gigs of RAM like mentioned, and 16 to 128 gigs of storage. So the iPad mini 4 was a huge jump from the 3. But the iPad mini was silent, just like the base model iPad. The iPad mini was silent for four years. Finally, the iPad mini 5 came out in 2019, four years later. Had Apple Pencil 1, still had Bluetooth 5, still had Lightning, but now it had a true tone display. Same price at 399, 7.9 inch screen, same cameras. A jump to the A12 processor, three gigs of RAM finally, and now the storage options are just down with two options, 64 gigs or 256 gigs of storage. I hate when they do that. I hate when they do a tiny amount of storage, massive amount of storage. Which one do you want? Huge price difference. iPad mini five was the last iPad Apple did for a couple years. iPad mini five was 2019. The mini six came out in 2021. What's that? Two years later, I can math. Two years later, the iPad mini six came out and this was finally the big upgrade, the big redesign. Just like the iPad 10th gen and the iPad mini, I think fourth gen and the iPad pro third gen, finally the iPad mini sixth generation gets the full screen Apple pencil design supported the Apple Pencil 2 with the magnet on the side. This time it had Touch ID on the side on the power button, USB-C and center stage on the selfie camera. Started at $499, $100 more. 8.3 inch screen, which is more than what it had, but still a really good size. 12 megapixel rear camera and 12 megapixel front facing selfie camera. A15 processor, finally four gigs of RAM, and still same crappy storage options at 64 and 256 gigabytes of storage. The iPad mini six came in a lot of different colors as well. A lot of fun colors. One of them being a nice, really cool purple color that I think that was the introduction of starlight. The iPad mini six all around is one of the best iPads in my opinion. A lot of people say it's kind of useless. I love the iPad mini six. Yeah. If you have a 15 pro match or a large phone, the iPad mini six, is kind of a little bit redundant, but your, your iPhone cannot use the Apple Pencil. So the iPad mini six is essentially just a little bit wider of a phone that works great with the Apple Pencil. Honestly, that's the main draw for the iPad mini six. It's a fun little device that you can hold a little bit easier than your phone. You can draw on it, had some issues, but hopefully with an iPad mini seven or an iPad mini pro coming in the next few years, possibly the next refresh will be in 2025. So we'll see what Apple is going to be kind enough to grace us with. But if you want to know more about the base model iPad, if you want to know more about how the iPad Air and iPad Pros became a thing, let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, I'm Jake. This is Shot on iPhone.